Welcome to the shooting show. This week we're shooting a split day at Grouse and Partridges at Fandale Moor, North Yorkshire. Morning gents, uh, the big issue for driven grouse shooting is obviously the safety issue and there's quite a few guys here today whose first attempt at, at driven grouse so safety is definitely the order of the day. Right. If the loaders can stick okay. together if they Give can. It a go. Uh, Mega, Mega you're with Ben. No it's the first time I've, I should uh, go into for a grouse shooting day. Are you looking forward to it? Ah, I'm very like this. So I hope I will uh, hit one or two, maybe 20. <laughs> we will see. Are you confident? Absolutely. <laughs> Who wouldn't be? <laughs> I'll just grab mine. Last year it poured with rain from the moment we got there to the moment we, uh, yeah. moment we finished and today it looks quite, quite balmy actually. It's quite nice. <laughs> it was great last year. We had, I think we shot 53 brace. But I uh, don't think the numbers are what they were last year or this year, but we should have some fun this morning anyway. Things are there to place in the book on either side, and the idea of the book sticks is to break the spring of the gun so you can't. Bernard Moss, head keeper here at Farndale, yeah. Okay. The estate's about 5,000 acres, well not quite 5,000 acres. We have nearly 1,000 acres of grouse moor and uh, about 4,000 acres of uh, rolling uh, dales pheasant shooting. But it's all commercial sold days. We have some teams that have sort of a number of days with us through a season, um, but uh, generally most days of the week are a, a, a different team. Yeah, it keeps us busy. Yeah, sort of three, it works out sort of three days a week, four four or five days in, you know, later on when we get really busy. Uh, this is my fourth season here at Farndale, yeah. I studied at Newton Rigg um, up in uh, Cumbria. I did a uh, two year diploma there. Um, and I'm a fourth generation, I'm the fourth generation of family to be a keeper, and so it's kind of in the blood, really. And are you happy here? Yeah, I love it. You couldn't not. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. Stunning place, yeah. So you couldn't not love Farndale. Yeah, we did Collier Gill uh, south as the first grouse drive. I gave the safety talk to the guns and explained how the day was going to flow to everybody. And then uh, took the guns down, placed the guns in the butts, and then moved round onto the flank to, uh, to steer the drive in. So they come very they come high low, 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 low and fast, yeah. Low and fast, you yeah. Quite for a minute and then you get a covey, yeah. covey coming yeah. at you together. So you shoot out in front, the minute you see them here, get on yeah. them. Then okay. right, lift your gun, make sure okay. you're safe, and okay. then here and shoot behind you then okay. as well. We've had, a, we've had a, a, a not as good a season this time on the grouse. Um, we're on the back of probably five record seasons on Farndale Moor, so it's, had, it's, uh, it's been at its best for the last few years. And this year it has taken a, taken a dip, we've, it's crashed a bit, um, as is the way with grouse, really. That looks well, very slick. Right? Is yeah. it going to work in real life? Yeah, yeah. we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> best laid plans are men and mice, huh? Which guns are you using? Uh, the new Browning 725 English Special Edition, which is uh, quite nice. Yeah, they, they come up quite well. So quite keen to give them a go. And that's not a 12 bore, is it? No, 20 bore. Yeah, they balance well, swing well. So this is the first uh, real trip out in anger. So we'll see. OK, Jack. In, on the radio, just communicating. I have two excellent beat keepers who I can just leave to the beating line. They, they, they know exactly what they're doing and do a fantastic job, so I'll just leave it to them. And uh, all, all I have to do is feed them information of what's happening at the front and they, they, they can change the driver's needs be on what I'm informing them from what's happening at the butts, really. Uh, yeah, I've just seen the first couple, of, uh, first couple of them flush up. There's another one right out there. 
So there they go. So they're all heading for butts one, two and three at the moment, but uh, patience, grasshopper. Ah, hey, 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 hey! Yeah, blue, black, dead, black, dead, black, dead! There we go, here's another one. Uh, then we did uh, Stone Hag South. It was, yeah, it was considerably better. As I say, it just clouded a little bit and the breeze just picked up, it just cooled it down and the grouse moved over us. much better. Much over better. Us, yeah. And you could see him coming on in front of the beaters, dropping in and then going again. And on the first drive, the beaters picked him up, pushed him forward and they landed in and we never saw him again. They just tucked in uh, in the heat. So, you know, it's uh, usually uh, when it's a bit colder, you can it's much easier to pick them up and move them on again. Good yeah. Shot. Good shot. Yeah. But well done, Yas. First blood. Yeah. I have another one. Hold on. Coming in here behind us, look. Oh, yeah. On your left. Right. Right, this. Ah, oh, there's one here. Right. Just in front of the fern. And another one there. Yeah, just at 50, 50 yards. And another one over there, yeah. He grabs it up. The first three. <laughs> very good. Very Thank good. you very much. Thank very you very much. Welcome. Good fun. Good fun. Really it? good fun, yeah. Hot and heavy there for a couple of minutes. Yeah. So, good team. Good team. I think, yeah? Yeah, we're doing all right there now. Irish and... Irish and, and German. German yeah, yeah, yeah. together. Lovely <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys. This day last year, it rained torrentially all day with a stiff north uh, east wind. Um, and we had a fabulous day on the grouse all day. Um, uh, today, totally different. You know, red hot, bright sun. You know, really, really grand day, um, but not a good day for shooting. The grouse was sticky, didn't want to move. Um, the second drive we did up there, uh, it clouded over a little and the breeze blew slightly more and we probably saw twice as many grouse in it as we did on the first one. Well done, first Yoss. grouse, thank you very much. Well done. Thank you. A little bit different to wild boar shooting. Yeah, totally different, yeah. <laughs> so it's game uh, in the British Isles. Yeah. yeah. They fly like a Spitfire, Yost. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> very unusual yeah. to get two ugly fellas together. Yeah, <laughs> 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 I don't need fleet and some already so well. Has anybody not got Not me. So we've come down into um, Horn End, uh, this little part of Farndale, which is sort of a little singular valley that runs off. And um, we've done a drive called uh, Hornby's Nab. We release them all the way up the dale and onto the far side. Um, and like I say, the, the way all our, all our pheasant and partridge drives work, we release them and push them, the beaters drive them into the drive, into the area we're going to drive them from. In, in this case, we pushed them round the corner of this hillside and I brought the guns in, put the guns on pegs and then the beaters brought them back round the corner. So the idea is that because they're released on that side, and you push them onto that side, they cross the cross the dale to, to get home again. Alive on peg and a whistle. 
It shows some fantastic birds. Conditions, it's very dependent on conditions. Um, when conditions are right, we can show some of the finest birds you'll see. Um, as most shoots will find, on the wrong day, we can have a real struggle, you know. Um, but uh, the way it works, we have long bank sides and the birds with the long flight path. We're bringing birds from a long distance um, and flying them a long way, which gives them the altitude that they have to aim to get to the, the distance back home again, basically. So, yeah, all the drives are blanked in. There are no drives at all, which we just drop onto and do. Every drive set is set up, and they take usually a good hour to do each drive. There were a few in, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a nice show. There needs to be at the start of the season. There's a long way till February. Well done, George. Habe ich zwar getroffen, ich bin weiter, ich weiß zwar nicht, ob sie gefunden haben, die zähle ich jetzt aber nicht. Die zählen, die zählen. Of one more drive, we're going to uh, Oak Crag, which is one of our sort of signature drives, um, to finish the day. So that should be a nice finish for everybody. About that one. It's just one of the drives that people enjoy the most. It's just a, a lovely setting, good quality birds, and uh, hopefully enough to, to for everyone to have a nice a nice bit of shooting and, and, and end the day on a high. I had one good face yeah, at the part of the Germans. No, that was a good shot, that. Oh, it was that, really that good. Was good. Yeah, really nice shot. But that was yeah, the other how did you get on? Uh, very good, very good. It's fantastic. We have the last driving drivers, uh, hundreds of, of birds. It's it's fantastic and high birds and very quick birds and good good shooting. So it's perfect, really perfect. So it's a very perfect end. Yeah. Very exciting. Isn't it? Very exciting day. Yeah. Mm.
But it's the first time uh, for the Turin Kraus and it's a very good experience and, and uh, it's, uh, the, the area is very pretty and, and beautiful, uh, the hedges and so and so I like it very much and the combination with the, with the partridges is it's fantastic and we had uh, luck with the weather, the weather is very very good and sun shines and no rain. It's not typical for England. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many friends who want to make it and now, now I can say how it works and, and I can say that it's very good and we can have a lot of fun. Also with the friend, the hunters here from England. So it's a very good day we can have here. Probably the best bit was the last grouse I shot where I lost my balance and I was standing on one leg and I hit it at 40 yards with the entire pattern when I thought I'd lost it and it came straight down. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic day. A little bit disappointing that the uh, grouse weren't there in the numbers that we'd experienced the year before. Uh, but, you know, that's uh, wild game shooting. But the partridges certainly made up for it. They were fantastic and double guns at the partridges and certainly on the uh, horn end drive at the end there, the, you know, the sky darkened. So yeah, good fun, damn good fun. Lovely weather. Yeah, and uh, it was rather hot today, <laughs> but uh, better that than uh, being drenched like we were last year. So, yeah, no, it all came together and uh, Bernard and Woody did a good job and uh, certainly showed us the birds. Yeah, 158, ten and a half basic grouse and 137 red leg partridges. Yeah, it was a good show. They came well as well. So, yeah, is it? Yeah, they? yeah, they yeah. excellent. Yeah, super. So good day all round. Everyone's happy. Yeah, marvellous. Shame we we could have found a few more grouse on that first drive, but uh, other than that, everything's gone as it could have done. So, yeah, yeah. marvellous. Yeah, well, main thing is they go away happy, I suppose. Isn't Absolutely, it? everyone's enjoyed themselves. Everyone's fired a few cartridges and enjoyed themselves. Everyone shot a grouse. Everyone shot a partridge, so everyone's happy. Some fast action at Farndale there, and now the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. MPs are being called on to recognise the social value of shooting. Politicians have been debating the social economy, a term that covers collective enterprises and conscious capitalism. Basque's Alan Jarrett said shooting makes positive contributions which could not be replicated by either private or public sectors, and reminded MPs that shoots had knock-on benefits in up to a 15-mile radius. So far, shooting hasn't been mentioned in the debate. Basque has slammed policymakers for bringing in poor regulation. In the latest phase of the lead shot debate, Basque Chief Executive Richard Ali warned against letting white hat bias creep into research on lead shot, allowing policies to be skewed by personal opinion and Chief Exec Alan Jarrett reiterated, no sound evidence, no change. They reminded shooters it was also their responsibility to make sure they comply with the law on lead. Scotland could be giving antis more power to prosecute cases. It's planning to let investigators from the Scottish Society for the Protection of Animals enter people's land and seize evidence. The Scottish Government said it didn't have the resources to tackle wildlife crime on its own, and it would make sure the SSPCA was transparent and accountable for its actions. Shooting agencies have warned that bulgy eye is affecting more red grouse than previously thought. Reports from the grouse season so far are largely positive, but half of all moors in northern England are now thought to be affected by the disease. No known disinfectant is strong enough to kill the disease in normal conditions, but sporting agency William Powell urged moors to prevent its spread by upping biosecurity. And finally, after our executive producer took on the ice bucket challenge last week, our director has got in on the act too. Pete faced the icy deluge to raise money and remind viewers of the yomp, taking place this Saturday. Don't forget to donate by heading to the addresses on screen now. That was the Shooting Show News. Well that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. We're out every Monday at 7.30pm UK time. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been The Shooting Show.